In this video, I would like to show you guys a little trick to get rid of that at sign that appears when you're trying to use the Python library OpenPyXL to fill an Excel document with the xlookup function. Using the xlookup function in Excel itself is very straightforward to do. Here, I will place the xlookup function in cell E1. I will be searching for the number 5 in column A and trying to return column B. And here you can see that I am able to successfully return the letter E because that's where it's located in our return array. Let me go ahead and delete the formula right now. And instead of placing the formula in Excel itself, I will navigate over to my Jupyter Notebook. I will load the workbook into memory. And down here you can see that I am putting into the worksheet in cell E1 the exact same lookup function. And what we will see is that this is going to return an error message now. And there you go, you can see it right there. I get the name error message. And now looking at the formula bar, we can notice something odd happening. We see the strange at sign showing up, even though that was not included in the string of text that we sent to this cell in Python. To resolve this, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll first show you what's going on by re entering the xlookup function as I had it written before, but using Excel to do it. There we go, successfully returning E. I will save the document. I will reload it into memory in Python. Let me go ahead and now show you what's actually contained in that cell by looking up the value of what is currently stored in that cell. And here we can see something pretty unusual. We're not just seeing the X lookup function as I entered it into Excel, but we're also seeing an extra bit of text prior to the function itself. Underscore X L F end period. Knowing that this extra bit of text is being read as the current value in the Excel workbook, if we want to input our X lookup function correctly into Excel using Python, we just need to add this prefix to the function that we enter. This will ensure there is no extra at sign when we load up our workbook after saving it in Python. I'll show you how this can work right now. Let me reopen the workbook. I will delete the column with the xlookup function. I will re-enter our formula, appending or rather prepending our xlookup function with this extra bit of text. All I have to do is copy this string of text, place it right here in my formula, execute the cell, and save the workbook. And here you can see Excel is correctly reading the formula that we entered in cell E1, and we are returning the letter E as expected. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy trick and solution to get rid of those unexpected X lookup at errors when you're using OpenPy Excel to interact with Excel using Python. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope it was helpful and an easy solution to resolve some of those errors that you may have. Please leave a comment below letting me know if you like this and if you'd like to see more videos regarding Python and OpenPixel. Do remember to give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful and you liked it. And please hit subscribe so that you can be alerted when the next video comes out.